Hey guys, I wanted to do a little update video and pertinent to my subject is the current temperature. So uh, 35 degrees inside in this little porch area in my house and 23 degrees outside. It got really, really cold. And I want to talk about, cover the lights a little bit better, but talk about cold showers because those are still happening every morning. And now they're starting to actually mean something. Sorry, I know the light's really weird. It's like this single bulb in our back, on our back porch. Now that it's this cold, it's no longer a little kind of lukewarm. Before my hot shower, it's icy cold. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you really fast what my shower routine is right now. I go in and I've, I started putting uh, witch hazel on my face because I'm getting old. And I've had sun damage and acne damage, like I don't have great skin. And I was reading about witch hazel and it's really great. It does dry your skin out a lot though. So if you decide to get into that, make sure you put a moisturizer on. So I go in and put the witch hazel on and kind of let it sit for a second. And then I turn the shower on to the coldest setting. And then I will admit, I still stall. I'll look in the mirror and like, oh, I find a reason to stall. <laughs> uh, and then I'll jump in and I try to go in, like I'll put my, hands over both my hands over my face and just kind of get my whole face and my whole front just get it in the cold right away and I'll kind of spin around in it a little bit ideally to get full benefit of a full shower I've heard you're supposed to also get your head wet I'm lazy and don't want to wash my hair every single day so I just get my face and that's and trauma enough um, I'm I've stopped setting my timer for a full five minutes of cold shower uh, instead, I am brushing my teeth, and I'm pretty sure that takes me like two-ish minutes. I brush and I floss with a little flosser stick, um, and so it's not a full three minutes because I'm also spending a long time in with the water really hot, working out the muscles in my feet. Sorry, I'm really obsessed with my nose shadow right now. I'm finding that very distracting. My nose shadow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so I've, I'm only spending like three minutes maybe in the cold, but it's all the way cold. And after I've kind of spun around a little bit and made sure that all of me has had access to the cold water, I'll stand with the water high on the back of my neck because it's that area on your upper back that kind of most helps your body benefit from the cold water. It's supposed to help activate your brown fat burning stuff. I can do more details on that later if you want. And I'll stand there and I'll brush my teeth. Now, I rec was recently at the dentist and I said, hey, dentist, my teeth are starting to get really sensitive. And he looked at them and he said, it's because you're brushing too hard, stupid. He didn't say stupid. He's really nice. Dr. Stoker, Salt Lake City. He's on 700 East between 1st and 2nd South. He's awesome. Uh, but he told me I'm brushing too hard. So what I've started doing is kind of taking a second in the icy cold and trying to calm down and then brush really gently and kind of make myself calm down in the cold, where before it was like, oh, I'm cold, and I'm going to brush my teeth. Huh? Um, so, you know, just a little added something, a little bit of, yeah. Uh, another thing I've started doing again now that it's worth it, because it is so cold, is putting my face under with my hands, uh, oh, sorry, my hands like over my nose so that I can breathe, but having my face in that icy, icy cold is really is this deep, this I don't know this anxiety comes up because you know you're cold and it's hard to breathe and I close my eyes so you know it's dark and even though I'm 100% in control of the situation it's really it's really cold <laughs> and traumatizing so anyway that's a challenging thing that I do hi I'll come in in a minute um yeah, so putting my face in the cold. And I just wanted to point out that, you know, I've been doing this all year long. I think at one point I had a full six-month streak where I never missed a single cold shower. But part of that was over the summer where the water was literally, like, at best, lukewarm. So after I've been in the cold for however long, I'm not even timing it anymore, I will actually sit down before the shower with the water on maximum hot. And I've started doing a lot of work on my feet. I'll put my fingers between my toes and like really open everything up. And I take that time to make sure that my feet and my legs are kind of ready to go for the day in the hot, 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 hot water. And it's really, really nice. I still lose some of my turnout because it's so cold. 
and my hips just have a really hard time getting warm enough to really splay open. But I know I'm at least getting a little bit of time in the day where my legs and my feet are as hot as they can get. Kind of helps them chill out. Okay, then I get out of that. My pores are nice and open, and I've been using African shea butter. Mine is bright yellow, but I don't care. I put it all over my face to make up for the high heat and the witch hazel, and my neck and my elbows. Those are the three places I'm most worried about keeping moisturized during the winter. And that's my current shower routine, in case you were wondering. So, um, like the benefits of the cold shower are so, so cold again. The psychological benefits are starting to come back. That feeling of um, you know, being empowered. That feeling of this is the hardest thing I have to do today is torture my body in this way. That's actually really, really good for it. This is the hardest thing I have to do. I can, I can get through anything else I have today. Right now I am actually, let me look at the clock, um, t 48 and a half hours fasted. And I think this last multi-day fast that I did, you know, just this two days right now, 48, it's nine. 49 and a half. Not that an hour makes a huge difference when it is longer. But I think this last fast that I've done has actually been easier because I've had that really feeling of a cold shower in the morning. So when later I get a mild hunger pang or just start thinking about food, that's easier to brush off because I've already done the hard thing for the day. Uh, I was in a freaking cold shower. <laughs> so yeah, that's for me one of the big benefits. Um, I don't know, let me know. I know some of the people who have subscribed have done the cold shower and I've even corresponded with a couple of you. I hope that's still going well. Just let me know how that's going. Um, we just got a fasting update. I'm feeling good. I'm trying a new app called Fasting for Life or fasting, something like that. I can share more details later. But what I really like is when you check in with it, you can put your mood like, I'm really struggling, I'm really hungry, or I feel euphoric, I feel awesome. You can just kind of document how you feel throughout your fast, and I think that's really important. I think I've been journaling about, but I like that this app includes it. And then if you came here for my kitten videos, um, Eddie, I will keep wanting to call him Sylvester because he looks like Sylvester the cat, he's a little tuxedo cat. But Eddie is doing great. I'm gonna do a whole separate video featuring him in a little bit, uh, just showing how he's getting his energy back and how he, much he hates his eye drops and just how he's really, really great. And hopefully, hopefully if my video will help him get adopted, that's great, but deserves VIP treatment for the rest of his life because he's a real cutie. Okay, this is going on way too long. I hope you guys are having a good night. Happy feasting, happy fasting, happy dancing. Adopt, don't shop. Those things that I randomly putting out on this very random YouTube channel. Um, let me know why you're watching and I'll try and do more of whatever it is you came here for. See you guys.